So I've written Survive, Rolling and Edited, which is my autobiography. I wrote the book after, after being convinced that I should uh, write a story about my life. Um, several friends over several years have thought I've had an interesting upbringing or an interesting way to adulthood. So uh, that would be the main reason why I wrote Survive, Rotten and Edited. Um, the, the title of the book is in its, uh, the meaning of the book is in its title. Um, it survived. Uh, I've overcome a few of life obstacles, harshness, and uh, made it to adulthood. Uh, born in born in the trenches of ghettos. Um, usually, when you're born in ghettos, um, there's a stereotypical expectation of yourself uh, for what kind of adult you will turn out to be. And I believe within myself, I've um, I've changed that expectation. Um, I believe life is indeed what you make it and uh, changing my life from what uh, most or what is stereotype of the uh, as to be the result of a ghetto child. Um, becoming a published author, making myself an upstanding citizen. Um, all that I would consider uh, equals to uh, survive. At the same time, there has been um, things throughout my life that I describe as obstacles that could have resulted in a sudden death, that could have resulted in years of incarceration, and um, so on and so forth. The book, I'm very happy that it's out at the moment. It's published. Um, it's a hardback um, with dust cover that I personally have taken a lot of pride in. Um, directive of how the book should be resulted or how the book should look as a finished product. Um, the book, I, I hope, and the plan is to convert the book into a screenplay at some point to, to, to become a film, to reach the, the, the main people that I would really like the book to reach because um, the truth and the fact is most of the people that I would like the book to reach, the, 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 the true target source that I would like the book to reach are, are ghetto source, or illiterate source, or people that cannot read. So at the same time, converting the book into a screenplay, making the book into a film, um, where we would have subtitles and maybe voices and so on and so forth, would definitely help to reach those people um, quicker. Uh, for now, it, the book is an interesting the mission is to get the, get the, the book converted into a, a screenplay, and screenplay will definitely lead you on to a film and uh, hopefully the film my intention is in all to have the same recognition so the film would be called survive raw and unedited and um, hopefully that will make it reach um, all the audience that um, when I was writing it that I have in mind um, not forgetting that initially the book was written for my own purpose for my own selfish purpose I wrote the book as I said in a previous interview I wrote the book for personal release. All my writings I wrote for personal release. Ever since I was a child, uh, I used to write poetry about my feelings or things that I've witnessed or things that I've seen. And um, Survive itself was what you would call the, the big bang, the, the big enchilada, everything. My, my life as a journey that I created, that I not created, there was a starting point. I mean, writing the book, was very hard to choose where to start, but once I got started and start writing, you had to relive your life, which is not the, not a very good thing to do. You know, to, to go back down memory lane is not the best thing, but once you do it or you take that risk of doing it, you collect it, recollected all that information, put it in a book, it's pretty much done and dusted. And um, for my, my benefit is, that weight is unloaded. It's unloaded within the pages of 604 pages. And now that I've done that book, I can also offer that book as some form of remedy for people that are experiencing similar, similar experiences at the, mo at the moment, that people are going through the same thing, or people are searching for answers, or people that think, oh, it, life is hopeless, or, you know, I can't make it, or I can't go on any further, I think. After being aware of my story, 
um, th that will give them some form of motivation. So for for teachers, for mothers, for fathers, for tutors and counselors, for for college professors, um, the book is universal. It's universal. It can be universally applied to help a, a variety of people. And that's one thing that I'm very, very proud of, of the book. So my hope, like any other author's hope, is that the book could get us in, in as many libraries as possible, in as many readers' hands as possible. Um, the book is not um, on a virtual downloadable format as yet. Um, the book is only available in its hardback format. But... Be that as it may, um, the book is available. It's available. The information is out there, and um, I would like people. I would like to see people benefit from my story.